What's up guys, Tyler here, and welcome to the very first episode of my Brighton career mode here on FIFA 16. I've been planning on doing this series since about probably October of last year. I'm very excited to get things rolling in this series. I'm probably, I wouldn't say I'm a Brighton fan or a Brighton supporter, I, I, I'd say very close. They're definitely my favorite English team that's in the championship, so... There you go, gonna try to get them up to the Premier League and hopefully into Champions League in this series. Hopefully you guys will stick around for the ride. If you are new to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you are an old time subscriber, I know who you are. I know who you are, you leave comments, I know who you are. But either way, I'm very excited to get things rolling. Let's head over into the office to get things underway. We are in an international friendly cup. To be honest guys, I'm gonna simulate every single game in this tournament because frankly, I don't care. Yes, we do get a bit more money, but it's, it's still friendlies. I know it's a new feature and everything, but it's still friendlies. It really doesn't intrigue me whatsoever. Maybe if I need a win, like in the group, to get out of the group stage, because you do get money just for advancing from the group, I'll play that game, but I don't think I'm going to be playing them. So there we go. That's gone. Domestic Cup achievements to reach the round of 32 in either of the cups, so that's definitely doable. Uh, th th we get this every single time, so I really don't care. Um, really don't care. Really don't care. League objective is to fight for promotion so it's not necessarily you have to be promoted but as long as you're at least somewhere around that mark that I guess 10 to 6 mark as long as you're around there you're good so not too bad not too bad uh, I do have a question for you guys though actually you know what I'm not even gonna ask I'm gonna do it it's my career mode we are gonna go ahead and scout a future star um, I wonder if there's more down here that are higher rated yes we're gonna scout a future star because frankly, we're we're in a road to glory. We might as well go ahead and scout one. So he is coming into the club. I was gonna ask, but it, maybe you guys can let me know if you wanna see more in the future. But I'm definitely gonna sign one straight away because I think that would be good for the series. Uh, we might as well move on to our team though. As you guys can see here is my starting 11 right now. I picked this myself. It wasn't their last starting 11. I wanna run the 4-4-2. I've been kinda liking it lately. So we're gonna go with that. The Walla Walla is the main man on the thumbnail, of course. And, um, you know, it's weird because both Manu and Luwalawa are left mids and slash left wingers, but they're both right-footed, so I thought I'd put Luwalawa on the left-hand side because he does have four-star skills where so he can, you know, cut in from that left-hand side and use his right foot, whereas Manu does not have four-star skills, so he'll just be on that right-hand side to bring in crosses, so won't be too bad whatsoever. We have Hamed up front, a brand-new striker for Brighton, who is a very, very good player. 28 years of age, so... We only have a few seasons with them, maybe only one season with them. I think I'm going to end up selling him on. He's definitely not a, a long-term option, but for now, while we're in the championship, he's definitely a very, very good player. He's not necessarily slow, but he's not fast. He's, you know, he's strong, has great finishing for a player that's only 74 rated, 81 shot power as well. Very, very good player. I'm excited about using him. We have Zamora, of course, who came back to Brighton, former Brighton player. Uh, Solly March is going to be playing center mid for us because he can play center mid. He's a good up and coming player at only 20 years of age. Rowan Ince, of course, uh, he's the new signing right here. Ro Ro I I'm not even going to try. I'm sorry. Rosenior? Oh, uh, something like that. I don't know. He's a brand new signing from Hull City nonetheless, and uh, I definitely don't really want to be using him, but we have to because he's in the team. And uh, we have Hunemeyer who is a brand new signing as well, who well, I'm definitely looking forward to using. He's only, he is 29 years of age, which sucks, but he's 6 foot 2, power header trait, uh, 85 jumping as well for someone that's 6 foot 2. Very, very good. I'm excited about using him. We have Lewis Dunk next to him, who can grow a bit, 71 overall right now, 23 years of age, 6 foot 4, great player for the future, and then Bong, a new signing from Wigan, who did get relegated, so he came into the club, 27 years of age. Uh, he'll do the job for now. Definitely going to look for a new left back in the future. Uh, but moving on to our bench, it's really not that great. We don't have, like, we have depth, I guess you could say, but they're not players I definitely d uh, necessarily want to keep, I should say. Like, Crofts, I don't want any more. Hala, I don't want any more. Chixon could be a good backup. He's only 23, can't play both fullback positions, but I don't necessarily want him. Murphy, I don't want. Kalunga, I don't want. Golton's a new signing, I definitely want to keep him. Balduck, I don't really want. Saltar, I don't want. Saltor, I should say, I don't want. Stevens, I don't want. Kayal, I don't want. Just, I don't want a lot of these players, so we're going to look for a bunch of new signings, and I have a bunch in my shortlist right now as we take a look at my finances. First off, 7.5 million pounds to work with with 35 on the wage budget is not that bad whatsoever as we head over into my shortlist. Bang, here we go. We got Bill Hamid in at goal. As you guys know, I am American. You can probably tell from my accent. By the way, speaking of my voice... Uh, it's a little bit fucked up right now. I do have a cold. So if you are a brand new subscriber and you're put off by my voice, 
give it a few days, please. <laughs> but if you are a long-term subscriber, I'm sure you guys have heard me sick before. But either way, Bill Hamid didn't go. I am an American. I kind of want to sign at least a few Americans. I'm pretty sure he's already higher rated than Stockdale, and he's younger. He's only 24 years of age, six foot three. One of the best up-and-coming keepers in the MLS right now. I'd love to sign him and have him be our starting keeper. Uh, we have Dominic Iorfa, as I said, I don't really want to be using that right back that was there again. I'm just going to call him Rose. Don't really want to use him because he is a bit old. So we could bring in Iorfa to fill that void from the Wolves. Uh, moving down, we got Miazga as just a backup center back option just in case we needed one. He's a big, tall player. Uh, six foot three, as you can see, 19 years of age, low medium work rates, which is pretty perfect, and is a good up and comer. Has pretty high potential for an American in this game. We have Jeremy Toyan, who is eligible to play for the US. Um, very, very good player. Left back is right footed though, so I wouldn't be afraid to play him on that right hand side. Four star weak foot as well. Very, very good player. And I believe in football manager, he's a very, very good up and comer. So I definitely do want to sign him. And then if we don't sign him, we have these guys as well Andrew Robertson and Declan John. Moving down though, we have Julian Green, who would be very cheap in this game. So I'm definitely going to look to sign him. Jelson Martins, who's fast and has four star skills. Uh, we have Jean Daniel Akpa Akpro. As I said, I'm wanting to get rid of a few center mids so he can be a great replacement. Can't play on the wings as well. I can't. I think he can play right back even. Uh, yes, he can. There you go. High, high work rates. He'll get up and down the pitch. As pretty sure he should have high stamina based on all the positions he can play in his work rate. So there you go. Uh, we have Tom Carroll, who does have Premier League experience, of course, playing for Spurs. Only has 12 months remaining on his contract, so. Should be able to get in for pretty cheap. 23 years of age, could be a good player. Uh, Alfredo Morales. Now, he doesn't have the greatest of potentials, but I just used him in Ultimate Team. And oh my god, is he ridiculous. Six foot tall, he feels taller than that. High, high work rates will get up and down the pitch for us. He'll be a good player. Engine, as you can see there, has high stamina in this game, which could be effective for a team that's playing in the championship. A lot of fixtures, he'd be good for us. Uh, moving down, though, we have Damari Gray as another winger option. We already have Manu and Lua Lua, but... We're going to be rotating wingers left, right, and center, so we might as well bring him and bring in another one. Rolando Ahrens, Andreas Pereira as another center mid option. Darlington Nagby as another winger option. James Wilson, as JP likes to call him. Uh, Jay Pizzle, if you guys don't know who he is. James Wilson, there you go. Uh, we're going to try to bring him in. Uh, definitely could be a good option. Kyle Laren, who's going to be one of the best rookies in MLS history, could bring him in. Britta Sambalanga, already in the championship, has championship experience. Uh, Thierry Ambrose from the Premier League. Uh, Douglas Coutinho from Liga do Brasil, and Alessandro Playa from um, for formerly of Lyon, which could be cool to bring him in, and then Jordan Ives. So those are the players I'm going to go for. I'm currently scouting all of them, so uh, before we get those scouting reports back, we're going to end up going into our friendlies, I do believe. So we'll go ahead and get straight into this one against Palermo. I uh, might as well keep this episode fully live for you guys as we go into this game against Palermo. We get two things in the transfer office. Anchor Grin wants to play. That's definitely not going to happen. And uh, yeah, I just saw Abubakar as a listed scouting option. Nope. Um, that's why I don't listen to scouts in this game, because they're very, very fucking stupid. And we'll see if we can get a win against a Serie A side. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're going to lose this game. Four. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa. You got <laughs> to be kidding me right now. I, I say how I think we're going to be losing this game, and then we end up destroying them 4-1. Zamora scoring a brace on his debut back at the club, Hamed getting a goal on his debut, and Manu getting a goal on his debut. So, that's that's good. That's very, very good. I'm very happy with that. As we move on now, hopefully we get some scouting reports back again. I don't care. Transfer offer for Dale Stevens. As I said, I want to get rid of him. So, yeah, they're offering pretty much his valuation, but I'm going to go up just a bit, just to get a bit more money for us to work with. I am being pretty stingy, but you gotta do what you gotta do to make your money. You just gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, we come up against a Dutch team now, Den Haag. Den Haag? Is it Den Haag or is it Den Haag? It's one of those. Either way, I'm close enough. As uh, we should be able to beat these, th beat this team, I do think. And it is Den Haag. Okay, there we go. We learned, we learned something today, guys. We learned something today. Welcome to my channel. Oh <laughs> God. Here we go. Skip. Nil nil. Nah, I'll take it. I don't know how we can draw against them and then beat Palermo 4-1, but whatever. I'll take it. We're still top of the table, so as long as we draw this game, yeah, as long as we draw this game, we should be through. Here we go. We got some things back. Um, they're going to accept that offer for Dale Stevens. Awesome. Don't care about this. Don't care about that. And we'll take a look at these scouting reports. So, Pereira, 66 rated. He's worth... 
925,000. Let's go. Let's approach Man United to loan and see if we can get him for fairly cheap on a future fee. Let's do two years and then let's do one million as a future fee, and we'll see if they accept that. What else did we get? What else did we get back that are done? Um, Dominic Pullian. I used to love him in FIFA 14. Definitely gonna be up here. Um, Ambrose, 65 rated. Get him on a loan with a future fee. That way we're not spending money, but we're bringing in talented players. So I'm happy with that. Let's offer 800,000. Bring in Thierry Ambrose. That could be pretty decent. Uh, what else do we got back? We got. No, is, is that it? No. Julian Green back as well. 68 rated, 900,000. I'm just going to approach to buy. I'm not even going to try to loan with Julian Green because we could just get him straight away. Uh, let's offer 700,000, see if we can get him for that price. That's fairly cheap. 68 rated right now. He'd be a very good backup option for us. Who else do we have that was done? And Yaki Williams, I'm not going to sign because he's too expensive. That's why I took him off my short list. In case you're wondering why he's not there anymore. Darlington Nagby, I know, was done. 74 rated, 3.3. Yeah, he's too much. Not going to go in for him. And Jelson Martins is going to be the last one we look at. 74 rated, not going to be able to sign him. So, that's where we're going to leave things for now. I'm going to advance forward. If we get any more things back, any uh, transfer offer acceptance or things like that, I'll let you guys know. Well, holy shit, we got our scout reports back. Um, any transfer offers accepted or anything like that? Player sold. Stevens is gone. That's that's it. I'll take a look at these later so you guys don't have to be bored during this video. So there you go. We'll send some transfer offers in just a second off screen. But we got this friendly against Osmanlispor. Pretty sure that's probably a Turkish team. So we're going to go ahead and go into this game. As long as we get a draw in this game, we're you know, certainly through. But if we do lose, there's still a chance we can go through either way. As we're going to skip. 3-0 the final scores, Mora scoring twice, and Kalunga scoring once, but March is injured, he had to be carted off the field, that's not good, that is not good, how long is he out for, uh, they're going to decline to do business for Pereira, that sucks, player injured, three weeks, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, loan to buy offer, transfer offer unacceptable, they went 1.1 for Julian Green, so I'm going to go in for these players, you can see them all right here, not going to go in for Cools, I took them off my short list. But those are all the players I'm going to go in for. I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, we get our first things back. So you can see Thierry Ambrose on loan there. They, they seem like they're going to be able to accept this one. They're going to accept it for us, I should say. And we move down. John Daniel Akpa Akpro. I was actually very excited to be able to bring him in. I already sent an offer. As you guys can see, these are the players I sent offers for. I'm very, very upset about that, actually. I offered them something very low, a transfer fee of $1 million because it said, it said it looks like this deal could happen, so that's why I went and sent that just straight away. But, um, looks like we're going to have to send another offer in for. I'm not sure who to offer over, because we definitely need to be bringing in a center mid if we're losing center mid. So, $3 million. Where is Hala? He should be in here somewhere. There we go, Danny Hala. $3 million plus Danny Hala, that's worth more than what that is, so we'll go ahead and bring, uh, offered that. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm saying right now, guys. I don't know. But we have a game right now against Freiburg. We did get 800,000 from that last thing um, from advancing from the group in the friendlies. So we have this game against Freiburg. If we do advance, we get another certain amount of money. Also in talks with Brentford is Dominic Iorfa, who I did go in for as well. Uh, here we go, though, against Freiburg. I do expect to lose. Uh, Solly March is being replaced. Of course, Kyle comes in. He was technically a better player in this game, I think. So, there you go. We're going to skip. We beat Freiburg. What the fuck is going on, guys? I apologize if you're new to my channel and didn't expect me to swear, but my god. Like, can we stop? How are we beating these teams? We're a championship side. I don't know. I'll take it, though. I'll take it. We're getting money. We're getting money at the end of the day. Uh, but we get a few things back, as you can see. I don't care about press conferences. But 1.3 for Kyle Laren. Uh, they they think the sum's too low for Jeremy Tolian. Uh, Playa, not not interested. 2.2 .2 for Alfredo Morales. 5 million for Bill Hamid. 2.3 for Bert Asamba Longa, on top of what we offered. 3.4 for Jordan Ibe. And uh, looks like they're probably going to accept a loan offer. I ended up going in on loan for Julian Green. Two-year loan, so we wouldn't have to pay it until then. Uh, and then Coutinho, I definitely... He wasn't at the top of my shortlist, so I don't really care about him leaving. Douglas Coutinho, and then we got 1.1 million on top of that um, from that last 
last win. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to go in for these players once again, though, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right, here we go. We got a bunch of transfer offer accepted. So Toulouse, first off, Sean Daniel, Akpa Akpro, 3 million plus Danny Hala. Had to do it because he could be a very good signing for us. 22 years of age, he's 73 rated. He could be very good in the future. Hopefully, you know, when he hits that 28 years of age mark, if I'm still playing this crew mode, he could be at least like an 80 overall. Wouldn't be too bad whatsoever. So we're gonna go, definitely going to offer him exactly what he wants. Crucial first team player because he would. He'd be our, definitely our starting center mid. So going to bring him in. Looks like Eorfa is going to Brentford, which kind of sucks. Uh, Brentford never replied to my offer, so looks like he's gone on his way out. So what is, it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, we'll go on for those guys in just a second. Looks like Thierry Ambrose is going to be joining the club, though, on a loan 800000 after two years. So in two years, we'll be paying that. Not too shabby at all. Uh, Andreas Pereira, they, they declined. Okay, this is really stupid. I inserted, I think, a one point, uh, it might have even been one million, a one million thing into his loan deal, and they said no, but one million straight up, they said yes. All right, whatever. Whatever floats your boat, I'll take it. Um, let's give him squad rotation. Four years, 6,000, 5% bonus per goal. Andreas Pereira going to come into the club. Very, very good up-and-comer. Uh, damn it, Spurs, why, why are Spurs going in for Bill Hamid? They have Vorm and Lloris. This game. This game, man. Anyway, I'm going to go in for these guys, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. As always, Wolves finally get back to us. Iorfa is gone. He's he's 30. Yeah, he's on his way to Brentford, so there we go. Also, in talks with Reading. Iorfa, there we go. Uh, in talks with Bordeaux. Coutinho. I'm not going in for him anymore, so that's fine. Uh, press conference, don't care. Spurs, 1.7 for Tom Carroll. It's a bit too much, in my opinion, but we'll offer over a player on top of that, I guess. Uh... I don't know if I have any of these players included in other deals, so we'll just offer over Kalunga, and that would actually be worth 1.7 million, so we'll go ahead and try to get him into the club, and again, I'm going to advance forward once again. I think actually, no, we have a game right here, so I'm, I'm just going to keep this live, this part of the video live against, I'm not sure who that is actually. Who is that? There we go. Transfer offer accepted, though. 700,000 plus Crofts for Kyle Laren. I'm not going to give him a roll. 6,000 on his offered wage per week. He could be a very good player in the future. I don't know how he's only 66 rated. He's been a very, very good player this season. Uh, nice, not interested. So we're going to stop going in for Playa as it looks like we're going to be bringing in Laren. Uh, they still want 2.2 for Alfredo Morales. Don't really want to be spending that much for uh, Alfredo, to be honest. Mead is on his way to Spurs, which is just a joke. 2.3 for freaking Asambalanga on top of Kalunga, who I guess I just included in a different deal. So we'll take him out. Um, put in Chicks in, and we'll offer over like 1.8 in Chicks in. Hopefully that's accepted. Probably won't be. I'm not expecting it to be. And then they still want 3.4 for Jordan Ives, so we'll just offer over 2.9, and maybe that will be accepted. But we got this game. We got this friendly. I'm not sure who it's against, but we'll find out. And it is against oh the team we beat before. Team we beat before. We should be able to beat them again. Hopefully. Get more money. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it, though. We're going to skip once again. We went on penalties. Manu getting our, lo our lone goal. And they have Webo on their team. That's interesting. But I'll take that. We get more money. We get more money. And I believe that's the end of the tournament as well. So, awesome. Uh, they want 1.8 for Jeremy Tolian. That's not going to happen. We'll offer over a player, I guess. Um, actually, we don't really have a player to offer over. Let's offer over... Inkergrin is too old. Yeah, we don't really have a player to offer over, so we're just going to have to... Actually, Calderon. We'll offer over Calderon just to get rid of some wages on top of that. So, I just exited out of it, but we'll offer that over. Calderon and maybe like 1.3 million? Yeah, that's what we'll do for Jeremy Tolian. Hopefully, he can come into the club. What else have we got? Contract offer decline because he doesn't want to relocate. Of course, you don't, you asshole. Uh, we'll go up to 32... Four years, bonus per goal of 10%, crucial first team player for Jean Daniel Akpa Akpro. Hopefully, he can come into the club. And what else do we got that's accepted at least? I'll go for the rest of the stuff later when it's not accepted. Uh, Julian Green, 1.1 million is accepted. Bring him into the club. Uh, future fee, two years. We, we don't have to pay that for two years, which is awesome. Hopefully, we'll be in the Premier League by then. Herrera for 1 million. We have to pay that right now, though. I'm not too upset about that. He is a good up and comer. He'll be, play a role on our bench at least. And I believe that's it for now. That is definitely it. What else we got also in talks with? 
Sean Danielle Akpa Ak Pro. Sean Danielle Akpa Ak Pro. Sean Danielle Akpa Ak Pro. That's fun. We got 1.8 on top of that for winning, though. And uh, they're happy with our performance. And we already did that last time. So, going to go ahead and send another offer for Damari Gray. And I'll see you guys in just a sec. All right. So, Spurs are interested in Kalunga, but they want 1.2 on top of it. Fuck it. Let's, let's give them what they want. I want Tom Carroll on the team. He'd be a very good starting center mid. He'd be starting along Sean Danielle Akpa Ak Pro, hopefully. Uh, they don't want to do business Newcastle for Rolando Aarons, unfortunately. Uh, so what if we just offer them 1.1 instead of giving it to him on loan? I work with Pereira, so maybe it will work with Rolando Aarons. We will find out as we advance forward once again. Gordon Greer, it looks like it is going to be his last season. Good for him. He is our captain when he plays. He'll be our captain, of course. Uh, but Hundemeyer is better, so I'm definitely going to be starting him over Greer, unfortunately for him. Kyle Laren, though, contract offer accepted. Only gets rid of our, our budget because Crofts has the same wage. So awesome. I'll bring in Kyle Laren as a good backup striker for now. Probably play alongside. Actually, yeah, I'll definitely play him instead of Zamora because just Zamora. It, it's Zamora. <laughs> uh, either way, they're not interested in the player we offered this time. They're interested in Kalunga, but they're not interested in Chixin. But I don't know if I want to go in for a Sambalonga anymore. I don't know. What do we what do we offer instead? Um Maybe. Ruffer over Kyle and 1.7. Kyle 1.7 for Britt Asambalonga. He'd be a very good signing. Transfer for accepted for Jordan Ibe. 2.9 million. Four years, 20,000. Crucial first team player. And we'll submit that offer. And then what's the last thing we had in my thing? Also on talks with Stuttgart. Of course it's Akpa Akpro. Oh my god. But he's wanted by everyone. Let's advance forward once again. It's going to come up straight away, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully Akpa Akpro accepts our contract offer. He does. We beat out the likes of, what, was Everton? I think Everton was included in wanting him. So the only thing that's bad about this is how much wage it gets rid of. But he'll be, he's our marquee signing. So he'll be very good for the future. I'm, I'm glad we're bringing him in. Um, 1.3 plus Inigo Calderon was accepted for Jeremy Toyan. Four years. Uh, we're not going to give him a squad role because I don't know what he'll be yet. And I love how we can do this now. We can just adjust, adjust the budget straight from here instead of having to go back. Um, and then transfer offer accepted for Damari Gray, 1.7 million. We're just going to give him what he already has because you don't deserve to be making more. You're moving to another championship club. So there you go. And um, yeah, we'll take a look at Jean Daniel Akpa Akpro in our team right now. Why does it make me do this? I don't know. There he is, 73 rated. Look at those green stats 81 aggression, 73 interceptions. He's a very good center mid. Very, very good. 72 marking, 69 sl slide tackling, 74 stand tackling. Very, very good player. Can play right back, right mid, left mid, high, high work rates. He'll be a very good player. It's definitely going to be inserted straight into our starting lineup. Here's our other players as well. Uh, Pereira, who we of course signed, Cam in center mid. Kyle Laren, 6'2", 189 pounds, 81 strength, 80 shot power. Definitely more of a beast type of player. Terry Ambrose, probably more of a pacey type of player, only 2-star skin lifts and 2-star weak foot, but can't play striker and right wing, 88 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, um, yeah, pretty decent, good for the future, we do have that future fee option, of course, and Julian Green, who we do have a future fee option to, of course, as well, can play various positions, 4-star weak foot, very, very decent player, so, very happy with that, we have a few other players that we're gonna try to bring in, though, so, Hopefully we can do that. We'll advance forward once again. So it looks like they want 2.2 for Rolando Aarons. I think we can afford this, actually. We can afford bringing in all our targets. My only worry is that we'll have too many wingers. And I kind of don't want that. Like, we can afford all the players I want to bring in still. But it's just, I don't know if it's worth it. Like, Manu is a good player. He could be good in the future. I'd, I'd rather have Aarons and Tamari Gray. But I can't sell him right now is the only problem with that. Um, so we'll have too many wingers. And I like Luwala Wa, so I'm definitely not getting rid of him. But here we go, Tom Carroll. I'm go ahead and sign him up for the club. He's making too much money right now for my for my liking, but it is what it is. You have to pay a lot for players. Jordan Ibe as well is another player that's goddamn a winger. He's a winger, which sucks. But we're going to sign him. We're going to bring him in over Orlando Aarons, I think. We'll see, though. We'll definitely see. And we're going to stop going in for Britt Asambalanga because I don't want, have to, want to have too many strikers. And Jordan Ibe can play striker, I do believe. So we'll just go with him there instead. Where are you, Jordan Ibe? You are currently right here. Left wing and right wing. I, I, I'd play him up at striker, though. So 
Not too bad at all. There he is. I like it. I like my signings. I'm going to have to adjust that in just a second. But as for now, we're going to advance forward until we get our final signings in. Transfer offer accepted for Tom Carroll. He's going to come into the club. We're running out of money. I actually said we'd have enough, but we definitely don't. So Tom Carroll comes in. Uh, I think we're going to save the rest of our money for Jeremy Toyan. Uh, so that means Aaron's and Damari Gray. We're going to have to, I guess, pass on them for now. Which is unfortunate because they were actually some of the players I wanted the most. So training injury, Julian Green's out for four months. So that's great. That's absolutely awesome. We got our scout feature star back. And we got these contract offers accepted for Damari Gray and Rolando Aaron's who we can't sign. So awesome. Awesome. We get our player though, Cohen Will. He is a goalkeeper. And I believe the glitch is sorted as well, so we might as well just go ahead and sign him up straight away. Two years, 500, 500 pounds. Easy. Easy money. We'll go ahead and sign him up. We're going to wait until Toyan gets accepted, though. Hopefully sometime soon. There we go. Contract offer accepted. He comes into the club. We are now out of money. We can take a look at these guys. They won't be coming in, unfortunately. Maybe in a different window if we need a winger, but right now, I guess a backup fullback or... Just a fullback in general is more needed. So, sorry guys. You guys will not be signed. Those are all my signings, though, for the very first... Um, very first season. Very first transfer window of this series. Hopefully, you guys are just excited. Just as excited as I am. Uh, before we end the episode, though, I'm going to go ahead and set my starting lineup so you guys can see what it's looking like now. For now, this is, what it start this is what it looked like at the beginning of the episode. And this is what it's looking like now. As you can see, I decided to play Ibe up front at striker. He's technically a left forward in this position. So there you go. Not too bad. Hamed up front at striker. Lualawa and Manu on the wings. Akpa Akpro and Carroll in the midfield. Bong at left back. He's gone up in rating. So good for him. Tolian over the 30 year old though. So definitely going to go with that. So he can grow a bit more. As I said, he is right footed. So I don't feel bad playing him at right back. Hunemeyer and Dunk in at the center back positions. And Stockdale in at goal still. So... Something actually crossed my mind, which is a little bit frustrating now that I don't have money. I was going in for James Wilson, and I don't actually know what happened. Like, I scouted him, and I never, I don't think I ever got a scout report back for James Wilson. So, a bit frustrating. I'm going to try my hardest to get enough money for him to sign him and maybe bring him in on loan. Maybe, yeah, maybe actually just bring him in on loan for the season. Wouldn't be too bad at all. So, I'll take a look at that um, in off screen so you guys can you know not have to worry about that and if I do end up signing him you can you guys can see it next episode as well once we get the opportunity to I'm gonna be trying to sell, sell a few players like uh, Rose right here in Zamora definitely gonna be be trying to sell them once I can and Murphy right now they just recently joined the club but when I can I'll be trying to sell them um, as well we do have a player out on loan. I completely forgot about Forster Kasky. One of the main reasons I like Brighton is because of Forster Kasky. And right now, he's out on loan. A short loan, so he should be back very, very soon. I guess we don't necessarily need him right now. Uh, but only a short loan. Uh, we could bring him back right now for three. Yeah, we'll, we'll just bring him back. So there you go. Forster Kasky's back at the club. So he'll definitely be playing a role. But I just thought I'd show you guys the players I have listed for loan. Uh, listed for transfer, that is. Uh, currently is Baldock, Ince, Kayal, and Saltor. Anyone else really I want to list? Uh, Chixon. Yeah, Chixon I definitely want to list. Um, anyone else though? This guy I'd want to list, but he just recently joins. Yeah, no one else really. No one else really I want to list other than the ones I mentioned before. So that, that guys, is going to do it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, a like would be greatly appreciated. And uh, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe as well. Other than that, I've been Steve Realty or Tyler, and I'll catch you guys next time.